listeners welcome back, back, back to my channel if you're new here i am a darnisha but if you're returning millionaire then you already know the five it is a vloggy vlog i'm doing more of a like a productive day in the life before work type of video and we're gonna do our makeup we haven't really been getting like ready ready for work like as far as like doing our makeup and really putting ourselves together and I kind of want to change that a little bit so yeah so I'm thinking I'm gonna go in with my Jaclyn Hill palette and my Jackie Aina palette because I want to add a little bit of color and this is like my favorite like go-to like natural neutral palette and then I'm gonna go with booked I probably would end up using this whole freaking palette to be completely honest but y'all so I've been at my job for like three weeks now we're still like in training and yesterday was like our first week of property training oh look that is see look at that I'm already like messing up because it's a dirty brush I see that darkness right there but we're gonna keep it um property is very very interesting so I've only ever dealt with auto accident claims so doing property is like a different level of claims and it's just a different game but I like it I like it so far um it's hard getting used to like working again I'm not gonna lie just getting used to like working an actual schedule getting off I feel like I get off so late but we're adjusting pretty well I guess I don't know now that I have like these colors like kind of blended on my eyelid I really really want to go like even more neutral I don't even really want to add color at all so I'm thinking we're just gonna go in with good vibes right there and we're just gonna keep it very very neutral because why not okay I'm gonna put my wing on and lashes off camera and I'll be right back all right our lashes is together y'all my hair still looks a mess so do not judge my hair but we gonna fix it <laughs> We are gonna fix it. I probably have like a few videos of this like hair looking crazy because I'm just like in work mode this week. Really trying to get my content out for you guys because May is not gonna be anything like these last couple months. Um, if you watch, I don't know when I'm posting this video. But if you watch the video prior to this and you saw that I have like a whole schedule, so yeah, we're going to be really, really, really good and productive for May. I'm low-key thinking I'm going to put this video out on Monday to be completely honest and like kind of change it up just a little bit because the videos that I've been recording are kind of like added to be honest so I might just post this on Monday and the video that I've already recorded put out on Friday because today is Wednesday so we've already missed a video for today but we're still in April so that is okay and then I can post a video Friday Mm. I don't know y'all. I don't know. Maybe this would be like Wednesday. Post instead of posting this week, post a video for Monday. When this would be Wednesday's video. And then this weekend will be um Friday's video. And then we'll be going into May for May's content. I can't believe like we're literally almost in May. Like this year is just zooming me by. 
Man. I mean, I know it's still May and it's like it's a lot of time. You could just turn around anything. But I, I'm going to lie. I'm low-key stressed. I don't even know if I said what foundation I'm using today. But it's the NARS Soft Matte Foundation. And then I'm going to go in with my Born This Way Concealer in the shade Chestnut. And then this one is kind of like similar to my shade. But since my foundation is darker today, it looks a little brightening. And I know we're not doing um like our con or we're not highlighting our face like this anymore. We're supposed to be just doing a little bit there. And then just kind of like off to the side. Because I mean, this is way too much, but I don't follow the rules of makeup. Y'all know I'm in my own. I'm in my own lane. I do what I want, so that's what we doing, sis. Okay. And I'm trying to hurry up. So this is the week where I actually have the boys. So I only got like 10 minutes to like really, really finish my makeup before I have to go drop them off. And as y'all can see, I'm still in my robe, so I probably won't even finish my makeup until I come back. So I gotta drop um the oldest off and then my middle child which is Kavius and Kavion I have to drop those two off and then I come back I finish getting dressed and then me and my youngest Keyante we drop we leave at the same time so I drop him off at school and then I just head to work y'all yeah. so when I have them I don't know why but I really should like record me <laughs> wait i didn't like include like clips of me like having to go and wake them up i literally wake everybody up i literally just went back in there and asked them if they brushed their teeth and washed their face because i haven't heard water come on while i've been sitting in this bathroom like i really should include those because this would make it more realistic on like really what i do in the morning when i have them which is a lot of like going back and forth, making sure that they're doing what they're supposed to do because I don't know why you have teenagers and for some reason they don't get that they have to brush your teeth and wash your face. Like, why do I even have to say these things? Like, shouldn't that something be like you should just automatically do it? I don't know. I don't know. All right, as far as powder is concerned, we're gonna go in with our Lori Mercier and our translucent powder. I really need to clean these makeup brushes, which is a big reason why I haven't even wanted to do my makeup in the first place, because I don't feel like cleaning my brushes. I know that is lazy as hell. But we're gonna go in with our Fenty Beauty in the shade Coco Mani. We're gonna go in with Fenty Coco Naughty to contour our face. And I kind of didn't put any foundation up here today because of my baby hairs. So I'm gonna kind of like bring my contour up here and just kind of like, you know, dab it in a little bit dab 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 whatever you want to call it brush i don't know we're gonna spray our face with this morphe i'm really thinking i'm about to do like a highlight i know the girls are not doing highlight anymore but your girl over here is still doing highlight and i low-key want i low-key want a red lip like i don't know how i'm gonna finesse wearing that all day but i really 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 want a red lip today i don't know if i really want to go like nude i mean my outfit is a peak brown you know what maybe we should just wear a brown lip today just like full-on brown okay y'all so my makeup is done and i just went to go put on this brown 
like t-shirt and then for my lotion or like my body oil i've been loving this body oil gel like oh my gosh like it just leaves your body moisturized and then i use my bath and body works lotion just to kind of like keep my scents in like oh my gosh i'll be smelling good all day or you can use a bum bum cream but y'all i ain't gonna lie that bum bum cream is like expensive and i'll be trying to like hold on to that and bath and body works lotion costs what five dollars i've always gotten it on sale so I i've never spent more than five dollars on these and like people be talking about these little bath and body works lotions but i don't know they smell good to me so <laughs> i'm gonna keep using them and y'all know i got a whole bunch of um lotions and people always tell me how good i smell when i'm at work so i'm gonna keep doing it you feel me it works and it's summertime i don't know if everybody just don't get the memo like i'm about to do like a hygiene video on my channel like how i smell good all day because it's summer and i don't know people need to figure out how to smell good <laughs> oh man i don't know i'm just trying to tap in some different type of content so let me got let me know if you guys want to see like a feminine hygiene video on my channel where i talk about you know like my products that i use to keep me smelling fresh all day long but anyway i just wanted to show y'all that real quick i'm about to finish lotion in my body it is 707 we have six minutes before i need to head out the door and then drop the boys off and then we'll be back getting the rest of us together okay y'all at this point the collection needs to move around because we got too many perfumes over here but today's scent is going to be our new is scent which is this mcm um perfume i think that's what it's called yeah mcm so we're going to put this on today i wore it to bed but i have it wore it to work so i want to see if it lasts and i'm actually not going to mix this with mm. I was gonna say I'm not gonna mix it with anything. I'm gonna just wear this scent. Yeah, I think I'm gonna just wear this scent today. I'm not gonna mix it today. I'm gonna just wear this one today. So, yeah. All right, so I just got back home from dropping the two oldest ones off and I just kind of straightened up the room a little bit. So I'm gonna show y'all my outfit. It's dark as hell in here, but this is what we're gonna wear today. It's just this brown shirt with these pink slacks. And these are the shoes that I'm going to wear. I think it's just, these are the shoes that I'm gonna wear. I think it's just so cute. It was between this pair and then another pair. The other pair is just like this. The other pair is just like this, except for it just doesn't have the strap there. But I like that this had a little bit of detail in it. So, yeah, that is just going to be the vibe today. I really need to clean this mirror. And then I end up taking my hair down and just kind of putting it like this. So, yeah, that's just how we're going to wear our hair today. And like I said, I am in the process of taking these out. And we're going to go ahead and finesse a new hairstyle but this just gonna have to work for now um i got 20 minutes before it's officially time for me to leave so within this 20 minutes um i'm just gonna take the time to show gratitude meditate and just appreciate all the things that is coming into my life um my journal i'm gonna journal a little bit um and then there's this thing that I saw on TikTok that Aisha sent me over a couple days ago that talks about how to um I'm, if I could save it I'm gonna put the video in here and y'all can see it for yourself and maybe use it because it's probably helpful for somebody else but I'm about to go ahead and do this chart as well and I'm going to put this in my planner. I'm going to put it in my daily planner. Because I feel like it fits most appropriate in this planner. Especially considering like this is like my content planner at this point. So in the back of my planner, I'm going to draw the square. And then put the things 
that I want to um, bring. I don't know the exact words. The law of attraction. That's exactly what it is. Okay, this is a law of attraction secret that honestly works so well. Start with a square box in the middle of the page. Label the first corner number one, the second corner number two, the third corner number three, and the fourth corner number four. And then at the first corner, we're going to write down the phrase you actually desire to manifest into your life. And we're going to put it in the present tense. So for example, we're going to put, I just now received $10,000 easily. And again, you can put this with any desire and any intention. Just make sure it's in the present tense statement as if you already had it. In corner number two, we're going to write down end scene. And the end scene is basically you visualizing it in your imagination, the thing you would see as if the manifestation was already done. In this case, we're going to see our bank account increased by $10,000. So you want to make sure the end scene is something you already would have. Corner number three, we're going to write down feeling. And within the feeling, we're going to write down for this example, excited. We would be super excited if we had another $10,000 in our bank account. Number four, we're gonna write down let and allow. And this essentially means releasing to the universe and not forcing it. And we're gonna focus on gratitude. After we release it to the universe, we're gonna focus on all the things to be grateful for and all the things that we appreciate. In the middle of the box, the exercise is going to be, you're gonna to wanna to visualize this for 60 seconds and you're gonna feel it so when you're visualizing, you want to actually think about it. You want to feel excited even before it comes into your life. And then we're going to release it to the universe as a whole and let and allow. Once you're done, circle it and then put a star in the box. And make sure you follow me for more. All right, so I just did the task as far as like visualizing what it is that I want to bring into my life. And when I was feeling it, like I was like over here cheering, y'all saw me. And low key, like my eye was tearing up because I was genuinely being excited for what it is to come and how I would really feel. And I would just be so grateful and so excited to get this blessing because it just shows that all of my hard work is finally paying off. And it's crazy, like it's crazy. But I just wanna say thank you guys for, you know, continue watching my content, for continuing to support me. Um, I feel like I'm slept on so much when it comes to this YouTube platform. Like I always go back and I look at my content and I'm like, my content is, is good. And I don't get the recognition that I deserve sometimes, but it's okay. Our time is coming. And I just want to say thank you to the ones who have been following my journey from the very beginning, who was watching me when I didn't know what I was doing. Like, I literally have people who have been following me since 2016, 2017. And it's just amazing to me. It's crazy that y'all are still on this journey to go from one channel to the next channel. Like, y'all are my my riders so i appreciate y'all i'm about to get out this house um i got two minutes before i need to leave so let's head up out of here do now what a girl gotta do to make you see that we should be together you and me i want your love all right y'all so i just I just pulled up and parked in my parking space, so I'm putting on my shoes with y'all. So when I went to get gas this morning, I went and got an energy drink. So y'all saw me have coffee, but that coffee is so freaking light, like I don't feel like it works. So I went and got a nose, and granted, I wasn't really tired, but since I got up at four o'clock today, I was like, I want something that's gonna keep me even more energized, y'all. I am like in this car, like losing it because I am so freaking hype. Like I am hype, like hype, hype. 
and I'm like oh my gosh this training class is about to be insane today because I can't I'm jittery I can't even like keep still so we got six minutes before we need to get in here so let me go walk my ass in here and then we need to get us some water and I low-key need to use the bathroom so yeah so I'm the person that brings all the snacks but this is our training room and then this is where I sit up front and y'all I'm trying to go to the gym and I got all these snacks like that is not gonna work but yeah I'm about to go to the bathroom real quick and I'll see y'all later okay you guys i am on my first little break here so so far it's been going pretty good it's been a pretty busy morning i've been so like hype remember i told y'all i was i had my energy drink so i've been so hype it's so funny because our office is like connected to like a doctor's office and they're like there's patients in their car and they're like staring at me like what is this girl doing but anyway um it's been pretty good it's been pretty busy uh, we've been having some more on the job training which i'm kind of excited about because nobody wants to just sit in training all day just listening to somebody talk without having the experience yourself and i was i've been so nervous i don't know it hasn't been that long since i've been doing claims but it's been a while y'all know it's been since october it just kind of feels like a long i guess vacation that i've been on but i've been nervous to get back into it so we've been doing some payment processing um helping one of the adjusters with her payments so we've been issuing payments all morning and it's like okay it's not as bad as it seemed and i work for a smaller company I work for a smaller company so we don't have like access to like the same things that i'm used to at farmers so i used to work at farmers um yeah i know that's a pretty big insurance company which is weird because it's a pretty big insurance company but i ain't get paid shit but we're gonna talk about that we're gonna talk about that <laughs> um so just getting used to their system and starting over but it's not it's not that hard like it's really not so i'm excited like i really am excited i'm not i'm not sure about this workload and how it's gonna be and how busy i'm gonna be because the adjusters here they handle between 150 to 200 claims and at farmers i only had max 30. so this is gonna be a big adjustment a very big adjustment but we'll see y'all will be here on the journey so I will turn on this camera during my lunch hour I have no idea what we're eating if we're eating anything I literally might read my book so we'll see all right you guys it is officially a lunch time and I'm trying to decide what I want to eat because I want to eat something kind of healthy um, and I also don't really want to eat out, but I don't know. I really don't know what to do. I got an hour for lunch, which I love, by the way. Like, it's a whole hour. And there's so many restaurants around here. But, like I said, I'm trying to eat healthy. I'm trying to take off my shoes. I should have did it inside. Whatever. Y'all... Like I'm low key might oh I can't wear flip flops I have flip flops on like I might even go back to work in my flip flops my feet is low key killing me but we won't do that so yeah I guess we'll figure it out and once I figure it out I'll let y'all know what it is but y'all this Bath and Body Works um, hand sanitizer oh my gosh it smells so good like it's in the stars oh my gosh like it smells so good y'all that was like literally the worst lunch ever i went to i don't even know what store i went to i went to the sprouts i went to sprouts to get sushi the sushi didn't look right so i was like oh i'm not eating that so i got this turkey sandwich from fries and this 
is nasty as well. So, but that's okay. I'm gonna go and plan. <laughs> All right, you guys, we are officially off work. Your girl is excited. Like, this whole day was great. We didn't really do, like, training training. We did more, like, on the drop training. Like, the stuff that we were supposed to do today, we did not. We just did, like, actually on the job training. And it just makes me feel so much better about the actual job itself because I was so confused. Now, granted, I'm still a little bit, like, the procedures and stuff here is so different. It really just doesn't make sense as far as like the claims. Like we have claims that's open that don't need to be open. I just don't understand that process. So y'all know me. You know, I'm not gonna say that on camera, but yeah, this is gonna be very interesting. It's gonna be an interesting journey. I like that it's kind of a small company because it's like you probably can voice like things and things could change or maybe not i don't know my trainer said he has been saying stuff for years and nobody has listened to him so my little voice probably won't matter either but that's why we trying to become a manager because we make some changes but i'm gonna go ahead and end this video you guys because y'all spent the whole day with me so hopefully you guys enjoyed this work day with me and i'll see you guys on the next one